and we give it back to you, the people. Connect 360 presents the People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Charles. Michelle K. The Heavy Duty QT. Big Sleep Dignified from the West Coast. I, I see, boy. You got the shiners on today. Yes, sir. Look at my little brother looking like our dad and shit. Look at this. Damn. I look like a... Damn. Yes. Hey, you know... Hey, time. first of all, congratulations on that. So, so good job. Yes, I feel good. It's not me. Oh, man. Over a year doing this and I just catch it. <laughs> All right. Well, good. So, so now, now that we're in the game, shit damn motherfucker. Now we're in the game. Right. Let it fly. We got all the intros? Yes. yes. We good. We good. Let's go. Y'all ready to get the show started? Yeah, let's get it. God dang, man. All right. Let's get to it. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen of the blue table, can your ex tell you who can and can't be around your kids when you have them. No, they can give me their concerns. I may or may not listen, mm -hmm. but you know, once we're split and there's no danger to the two kids, I don't care what they say. Yeah, but how do they know if there's danger or not? So how did, why would they bring that concern then? Because maybe the kid told them that the 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 new one in the house did something. You know, kids like to lie. Kids yeah, like to course. embellish. Of course. You take that for a woman or somebody else to, to hear actual something. It's got to feel like they don't yeah. want no, another fucking vagina around yeah, the kids. The wind, right. the wind blew That's the wrong way. They're like, mm. But the catalyst, if the kid said something, or can, can your ex come up to you and be like, I don't want this person around my kids? No. 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 Cause I've never said it. I don't. Yeah, I would and I've had every reason to say this shit. Because right? if if I was with him, mm -hmm. and he, you know, and I'm not no crazy person, I would trust the person that he, you know, that he he dates. Okay. I think he would take the time to know them before, you know, you start bringing kids around people anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's be a good wait time before you introduce your kids to the Yeah. Time. Time. yeah. I agree. Yeah, but it's not always like that. I mean, you guys are living in a hypothetical world again, and you know me. I'm going to dirty it up. So <laughs> you, stay, you stay up in your clouds if you want. I'm going to bring you back down to where the earth is hot. That's why I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> Right. I can't wait. I can't wait to see where this shit goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So your exes can't tell you guys. Right. Uh, Mel, you want to put your your uh, spin on it, or you? Uh, I. Again, unique situation because right. I, I've I've never been there, but I would think that I wouldn't um give a shit what my ex thought because she's an ex for a reason. So I don't think she has a say in who I bring around my child. Okay. Now let's put the proverbial shoe on the other foot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if your children come to you and say, daddy, mommy, I don't want to go back over there because daddy's girlfriend talks about me when daddy ain't around. I would or does stuff. I, I would definitely have a one-on-one -on -one with my ex and say, look, this is what so-and-so is telling me. And you if, I mean? if your ex tells you at that point, stay out of my business, you can't tell me who I can and can't have around my kid. Uh, Are you going to back off? I was like, if anything happens... Whoa, 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 wait a minute, though. On the other foot, <laughs> what were you saying? It's a trap, son. It's a trap, son. Yeah. <laughs> got, got it. Got, got. <laughs> okay. What you got, Michelle K? <laughs> well, I mean... Y'all know me. You know I'm going to dirty can't. it up. I mean, I, my, like my daughter used to have a problem with her dad always bringing different mm -hmm. women around, and she mm -hmm. would get attached 
to them. Mm -hmm. So it would be like a thing I would like, you know, let me, you know, he he said, you know, it was not my business, which I respected that, but I did voice that concern. Like, you know, I don't care who you bring around, but you need to think about your daughter's feelings. And that's all I said. So like, you were intended to to put. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do, but I want you to know well, this is what you should well, be doing. Well, no, I was telling you because this is how it's affecting your daughter. I didn't care at all. But like, bring it to your when, attention, Carl. Right. She brought it to my attention, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, let me let me just bring it to his. Not he could do whatever he wanted with that information, but I just felt that I should have. I, I should tell tell him since she brought it to my attention, but I was not going to tell him what to do. Okay. Now, if the situation was a little bit worse than that, if the lady, according to your child, put her hands on her, you know, and regardless of why she did it, I mean, are you just going to inform them and just be like, oh, okay, I let you know, so I'm going to stay out of it? I could have been in the situation. Right, like that. right. So, I don't know because most of their fathers do the discipline. And kind of handle the situation. So. But would you be as calm as you are now? That they put their hands on my car? Yeah. No, I don't You can tell how she just said that part. <laughs> She's like, that's yeah. <laughs> so, Hey. Her tone go up and down. Hey. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Now that, psych, now that cycle's starting to come out. We're getting somewhere now. That's the damn cycle right I now. I would be upset because, mm -hmm. while, you, you know, I know my child mm -hmm. and her father knows her. So if it has to come to that level of somebody else, it, it would have to be a discussion because then you're crossing the line because. That's not your place. Right. To me. I agree. Not, I agree. But ju just time. a discussion, though. That's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna But you're saying discussing with the woman as well. And I would bring both of them together. Oh, right. And they would we have to sit and talk about it. Now, if it's like a shouting match, I don't argue. So. Mm. Just lay hands on the motherfucker. You say. <laughs> Scotty! She ain't with the arguer. She got the Glock. She got the Glock in the, in the car. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But see, but and see, that's what we're getting at. Because now we got the shoe on the other foot, and now we're getting some emotion flipped up in the thing. Because if that happened, and then that ex came to you on the same stuff and the same vigor and energy that you're coming. I exercise good judgment. They do. You exercise good judgment. Yep. That's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> do tell. What do you mean you exercise good judgment? I trust my fucking judgment. I don't trust this. Okay, so if 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 your kid told their moms that your current did something to them and they approached them, you're gonna tell them, mind your business, I got it. I have. But then if it's on the other foot and their current I went does to, something. I went to her first. And then when it wasn't taken care of, I went to the person next. Oh, so then you don't when believe in the when equal it thing wasn't then. taken care of. Right? That's the key word. It was handled the first time when they came to me. When it was not taken care of, I escalated it. I went to the person. Uh, so you so, so you overstepped your, your your boundaries. Right, yeah, that's what I was about to ask. So what was the what was that what was the dynamic like after that? I, I, after you went to the person? I shot a fair shot buckshot in the air. Now I gotta go directly to you. So I, I, I already said, hey, so we need to take care of it. What else is this way? But when you I brought to me, I took care of it. Okay, so when the situation was the kid told the moms about it. If the situation wasn't escalated, then you would have been fine with her going out and handling the stuff. Sure. Wow. Mm. Mm. Take care of it. Take care of it, like point. just talk to that person straight up. Like, yo. Mm -hmm. Like talk to that other party straight face to face kind of thing. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, that's how yeah, I would I would, I would I would I would I would talk to the ex first and be like, hey, you know, this is this is what's being bought to me. I don't know what happens in your house, I don't know what goes on in your house. Mm -hmm. But this is what's being bought to me. And I'm, I'm coming to you so that you can address the situation with your significant other. Right. Absolutely. If it, come, if it comes to me again, then I'm going to address it with your significant other. Right. There it goes. Wow. That's you people plan. are amazing. That's, That's fair. That's, That's the plan. Yeah. That's fair. I gave you an opportunity to right. correct it with such person. Right. If it does not happen that way. Obviously, like I'm not. You don't have. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not telling you who to be around. I'm not right. telling you who to Absolutely. be with. Yeah. I'm just saying that our child 
You're Absolutely. saying this about what's going on in your house. Absolutely. And if that person hits you with aggression, like mind your fucking business. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's cool. But if, and if my child comes to me again and the situation is not a correct, not corrected, now I'm coming business. to your significant other with the same the aggression. aggression. Okay. Case closed. Facts. I like wow. It. I, I you know, know. And, I, I and everybody's on, on that line. Yeah, I co sign. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah just like, well, just like, I, I, just like I said. Here we go. <laughs> I think well, I handled the situation wrong in my situation. <laughs> well, well just, just, just like I said, I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel that an ex has the right to tell me what I can and right. can't do Absolutely. in my house. But if it's concerning, if it's concerning the child, it's something mm, yep. that I would the definitely take right. the child. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. Agreed. But I might not listen. I might not. I might tell her. Yes. If she yes. if she asked me, I might tell her to fuck herself. Well, you but I'm still a Right. You don't know what she's actually like, right. if she actually did it right. or the other kind yeah. of shit. So yeah. you you I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I'm putting it in your lap to correct this. But if it comes back the same thing, obviously yo, you ain't the voice of reasoning. So let me do that for you. Yeah. Maybe she's afraid wow. to say something. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. You know? Yeah. I, I totally handle that differently. My instance. And y'all know me, I don't care. Yeah, I'll, I'll put out names and everything else. But in my situation, so um, I had a situation where um, when me and my ex were together, I didn't want nobody touching my child's hair except for the one barber that I designated. He knew how to cut his hair. Nobody, nobody else messed with it. Yep. Once we got divorced and, you know, she had her household, I had my household, um, first of all, um, she told me, this is my household and you don't have the right to say what goes on in my household. Cool. Feelings mutual as long as we understand each other. I'm willing to play the game if we're all playing by the same rules. That's yeah, just the type of person I am. Fair. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. So, you know, and there was a time she tried to step up, and I had to put her back in a place. And I barked hard because mm -hmm. I don't know how to, oh, okay, maybe. Nah, <laughs> I got to embarrass you in these streets mm -hmm. if, if I'm coming barking. So... Uh, we fast forward, it was some time had passed, and she was trying to show off for some dude that she was messing with. Mm -hmm. And this dude was a barber. Now, mm -hmm. my son was old enough to know nobody cuts his hair but Zoe. That's it. Mm -hmm. Not even other people in that barbershop. He's the only guy who cuts my child's hair, and that's it. So she, the dude said that he was a barber, and he would cut my child's hair at her house for free, you know, whatever she was doing to, to get some dick or however she was doing that. So. <laughs> Allegedly. My child, my child was like, some trim for some trim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my child was like, no. My daddy said, nobody's to cut my hair. Yeah. And she pulled that, well, I'm your mother, and I say, and this is my house. So my child takes off and hides under the bed. And when he hit under the bed, he took the house phone with him oh, and called me and said, Daddy, um, Mommy's trying to have some guy cut my hair. Mm -mm. Who the fuck? What? Zoe at the crib? <laughs> he was like, no, it's not Zoe. What the? So I hear her coming to his room. You know, two, get from under that bed. And he's like, I'm talking to my dad. We, you called your father? And she gets on the phone. And I tell her, I said, look, I don't care. What dick you put between your legs, that's your business. Yeah. My child just called me and told me that you're trying to have somebody cut his hair. If somebody cuts my child's hair, I'm fucking up you, your mother, your brother, and your father. Don't touch his motherfucking hair. That's it. And I hung up. Not the barber? Huh? <laughs> Not the barber who did it? I was pretty sure he was going to be long gone before I could get over that blow up shit. <laughs> <laughs> she knew what she was Everybody doing. Everybody something to get a cut. So, um, and then I got him that next week, and nobody, you know, his hair was still bushy and stuff and all that good stuff. So, I took him, got his hair cut, no problems. The next week, you know, I don't hear anything, no big deal, nothing going on. When I get him the week after that, he got them scabs. Like where his edge was, oh. and the barber pushed him back too. Yeah, my man. And you know, in my family, we got male pattern baldness. Yeah. So, you know, don't don't cut that shit because it ain't coming back. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 
I seen him, I'm like, what's wrong with your head? And you know, the perfect cut lines, perfect mm-hmm. edge up, but it scabs on it. And he was like, don't, don't get mad. And I'm like, don't get mad. Now I'm fucking mad. What do you mean? Yeah. Don't tell me don't get mad. Now this is my child I'm talking to. Right. What the fuck you mean don't get mad? What happened? He said, mommy, mommy had her friend back over and um, I told him you said don't cut my hair and she said I have to and I was trying to fight but they held me down and cut my hair. <laughs> but, but he had a haircut a week before. Exactly. There, there exactly. was no need for another haircut. So she was literally just doing the shit just to be fucking doing the shit. Mm, I held him back. So, what do you say? I gotta fix that hairline? <laughs> yeah, because... You know, like I said, we had the male pattern baldness, and my child has very thin hair. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's not nigga hair at all. It's, yeah. You know, he, he got mixy hair and not a mixy. Yeah. So, if you push that hairline back, <laughs> it's, it's just, it's gone. It ain't coming back. So, he pushed them back. So, I go to drop them off, and I cause this big scene in front of a house. And I might have allegedly... Busted a window or two. Uh-huh. It might have happened. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Allegedly. To the house or somebody come? To the house. Allegedly. Oh. Allegedly. Right. Right. I cannot confirm or deny that I picked up a brick out of the front of the house that I had planted when I lived there and threw it through the living room window. I cannot confirm nor deny this. Okay. I cannot deny, I cannot confirm nor deny that I threatened somebody within an inch of their life if I ever heard of any person touching my child ever again. I can't confirm nor deny this. Okay. But if that alleged thing happened, I'm pretty sure that's probably how I would have dealt with it. So, I don't have the patience and the, and the wonderfulness that you guys have to like. Well, you you of. you exhibited you exhibited the patience when when two called you, because that right that right there when he called yeah, you. Yeah, I expect you to say. According you to you, up. you 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 would have probably pulled up. That's what I expect you. So you you get up. you gave him the benefit of the doubt by saying, "Hey, yeah. don't touch my fucking yeah. kid's head." Yeah, pay something. I, I feel better now. Yeah, pay yeah. something. Yeah. 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 After the show, I'm gonna give me a lollipop. <laughs> I was expecting I'm you wonderful to pull again. up that time That did that moment No I didn't pull up that moment See, Actually I was bumped, at work You never bumped into dude at all ever Never Never Of never course not picture, <laughs> Never saw a picture oh, no. I, 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 Which barbershop you bumped, worked at I would have bumped it to him I would have took, took <laughs> right. my son to every barbershop in Atlanta Like point this nigga out <laughs> right. We going We going We going shopping That's a lot of barbershops Like old boy with life with the kid I would be like Who cut like this <laughs> like, who clippers is this? <laughs> who the happened to these clippers? <laughs> who got the extra sharp clippers, man? Who who got it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was like, I've been eating three days. I've been going to barber shops every day. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was a crazy situation, and then I had a I had really another situation. See. <laughs> I'm professional. Oh, I'm professional. I'm, I'm glad it happened because now I'm tur- I gotta make sure my ringers off. <laughs> Word. That's like the key. Let me get a turn that shit down while we sit here. That was Michael Myers, bro. I'm like, I'm the only white one in here. Hey, why you got now? You so now you get a really big favorite theme song of all time. That's that shit. It would be. Why not, Michael Myers? What's better than Michael Myers shit? Jason, nigga. What's nah. the All day. Freddie Cool. All day. One, two. That's what? not theme song. Yes, it is. Make it into a ringtone. Actually, the greatest ringtone is The Purge. My is Godfather. The Purge. I, yeah. I could put The Purge. I agree with The Purge. Three. Like my, The Purge is mine right now. My second one to that is, like, is Kirby Enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. I love that. That's show. my favorite show. That's my. I love that that's, show. That's my second ringtone. Hot Larry. It is, but you sound quarter gay, dude. Well, right I, I don't care what you say. Curb your dudes are the funniest. Dude, if you sitting on a train in New York and that shit comes on you, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> they just be like, oh, that's my shit. They be like, I've never heard nobody say, yo, that's on my shit. Hey, like, that's too. a funny Jew. That's a funny fucking <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom. What's your favorite ringtone show, I don't have none. I don't None? none. The you don't have none? No. I'm no. about to call right now. You don't got no right. ringtone. My booty hole, boot brown, none no. of that shit? No, R. Kelly? No, no. 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 Do the brown? Just a regular ringtone, like just the phone a re- ring. <laughs> the generic one that comes with the phone? <laughs> you are so old. Oh, my God. Like you said, you <laughs> she she, she got like, the Nokia <laughs> one. She, she got the Nokia. <laughs> do, 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 do. I don't have time to go through all those fun things. Oh, my God. It's so simple. You got a default ringtone? I got a kid's ringtone on my phone. 
Shout out to Michelle K. Rico. <laughs> 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 what is simple? Yo, shit be like, hello, <laughs> Moto. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't want to say people love names and numbers and stuff in my phone. You no. don't? It's, wow. I, I'm very bad at that. I probably really? I'm very, very bad at that. So it's like, hey, did you get my text? And I'm like, dang. So I had to go through my phone and just kind of see what you <laughs> said. And if you told me, I look for that, you know, or search it. But so, yeah. Wow. I That's wow. It's, wow. It's, Unless they say, you didn't recognize my number. No, okay, I'm going to put it in right now. (laughs) (laughs) Tell them about your cheese. Yeah, I'm very bad about that. New topic. (laughs) <laughs> what do we say to people in our phone? <laughs> mm. Hey, wow. I know somebody got some interesting shit saved in their phone. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Tax lady with the fatty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we back to that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do we got any secret <laughs> names in our phone to, to throw people off? Not I'm not talking about know. basic names. Like, you know, if somebody got good coochie, like, you'd be like, yo, Domino's. that's good pussy 101. No, nah, no. I'm talking about something like off to try to remember anybody. No, regular names and maybe in parentheses is where I met them from. Or yeah. where I know them from. That's about it. Yeah. Because sometimes you that. have similar names, you'd be like, you know, Mike from, you know, Domino's or some shit. Whatever, some shit. So it rings me because. Mm-hmm. You went straight to Mike from Domino's? I'm just don't you talk, we, we, talk, we talk about... Yeah, pause. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pause that. Pause. <laughs> you gotta pause that. It's the fucking pizza spot, but okay. Uh, what I'm just saying, if you have... I would names, expect that from him. But would you... <laughs> <laughs> Shot. Wow. Was that was, was wow. that a shot? That, that's what you meant. Shots <laughs> uh. fired! Shots fired! And for Mel, <laughs> <laughs> you called that one. <laughs> you called that one sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> um. Pause. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mom. This thing is this camera on shit right now. <laughs> For real. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it is starting to go off the rails. He, he must be sipping on Henny. Wow. All right, so you don't have anybody saved in your phone? Uh, any weird names or anything like that? No. What about when you were in relationships? You would just put regular names in there? Even the sneaky link kind of friends? It's blocked, so they can't come through. That's just too much work. It's blocked. How, so I how are you supposed to get? So they can't come through. So how do you get the sneaky link hookups if, you just if see, they're blocked? You see the notification it doesn't. The ring doesn't come through. None of it comes through. But what are they saved as? In your right, phone? right. The names. Like you put their real name, it or you put like they'll never see. It. <laughs> what are you talking about? Right here? So when they look at your phone, right? Hey, hey, hey it's okay, man. It's safe space. Like your history. We're in safe space, no, man. It's it won't show up. In your <laughs> Show up on your history? Hey, I promise I'll get all this out. Yeah, but they're not gonna has access to my phone. Okay. Hey, don't worry, it's just us. Yeah. It's just us. No, what you worry about? Yeah. Since you ain't got nothing, why don't you just show us, man? Just yeah. Pull up some stuff. <laughs> the hell you talking about, nigga? Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> you made him sweat. Oh! Hey. Hey, Arnold, hey. is he telling the truth? He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Mr. Schwarzenegger think you lied, bro. Hey, they didn't can't speak enough. I, 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 I know you got somewhere to be tonight, but you may, you may want to push that because you, you don't seem to be on top of your game this evening. Uh, right, you're, you're making him nervous. <laughs> you sure? I'm positive. All right, what about you, Michelle? No okay. face, no case. No. Oh, that's right. You don't have nobody. <laughs> <laughs> she got no, she got seven zero. <laughs> she got mommy kids. That's it. No, I have a few numbers, but no, I don't do the little extra innuendos on them. So, if, if it's some some guy that you might have been a potential suitor that you don't want nothing else to do with, how do you know if he doesn't, after like a year or two, just mm-hmm. call? I'll just text check you like, it hey, on girl. you. girl. Well, normally, if that happened, I've been a block to and deleted it, so you probably wouldn't be, unless you call from another number. Which you can't put the name on. Right, but, mm, I don't know, I just, I mean. Wow. I don't. So either you're a number or you're blocked in Michelle K's phone. Wow. You gotta be important to be on your phone. 
I'm not. Everybody's important. Hey, you know what? Hey, 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 Arnold, did she tell the truth? That's that shit. That's that shit. Hey, you all important in my eyes, baby. Hey, she didn't mention that. She didn't mention that when you when you asked her how was the week. She didn't mention she went to media training. She did not mention that. Wow. She did not mention that. No. That that was some pimp shit. Just that. That was real pimp shit. That's the shit I do in person. Though. Mm-hmm. I, I remember I was sitting in Lennox and this chick uh, smashed and I did not remember her fucking name. And mm-hmm. she was like, you don't know who my name is. I said, girl, you all with your mama name. Come on, baby. Stop <laughs> acting like that. Don't do that. Yeah. I know who you are. Yeah. You know you right here. How can I forget your name? <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to call this bitch name or something. You think you with your with your cousin yeah. or something? Wow. I, so, yeah. I would have took the direct. Nah, I don't remember. Nah. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I had to do that. Just say, look, I am so sorry. And they be like, you don't. Nope. Yep. <laughs> He's straight up honest. You weren't that important. Yeah, honest. Oh, oh. Wow. But you could be. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't that important back then. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, that brings up something else I want to ask you guys. Uh, Can you tolerate being with somebody who's just like you? No. No. The two are the same. Mm-mm. So if that's the case, what's so wrong with you? Nothing. I just don't want two of them. I just, I know wow. It wouldn't be two of you. Yeah, it would be somebody it's like you. Same thing. Same thing. Because it's the same I would thing. get agitated with myself, mm-hmm. and I'll be agitated with them because I would want. I know I'm a procrastinator. Mm-hmm. I would want you to be the same thing I am. Right. We'll mm-hmm. never get nothing done. Like, nobody's gonna clean the we, plates. Right. Everything it's just is, sitting there. Um. No. You cannot. I do not want to date somebody that's like me. So would you be willing to change who you are to make yourself a better person? Not for them, for yourself. Because if obviously if you know your faults and you would never want to see your faults in another person, does that make you willing to change yourself? No, why would I change? Because, because you know it's bad. No, I just find somebody that's opposite. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's like oh. the yin and the yang. Yeah. It's opposite of track. Right, right bro. You know, I go search for it, but He's I'm not. Scumbag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> scumbag. <laughs> hey, it's kind of like you said, but no, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> but what about look, you? look at you, though, mm-hmm. King. You and your missus are both alphas. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. Because I've been in those houses. How many times your heart be racing in arguments? You were like, what? Yeah. Gotta walk it off. Yo, it's like a Zilla and and, um, and King Kong. Like, who's gonna win this one? I'm like, yeah. So, no, it's rough. Yeah. It definitely is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, over the years, we found out, you know what? That's just how we communicate. Right. Right. It it just is. Like, it, it drives both of us absolutely apeshit and nuts, mm-hmm. but it's how we do. And even the kids even bring it up. They're like, man, you guys argue all the time. I was like, that's what you're supposed to do when you're at the top. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you mean? You, you don't get to the top just by, oh, I'm just going to stand here by myself. Right. Now you got to fight for that number one position, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> as long as my green grapes are in the fridge Word. and no one touches it, don't touch them. that's Woo. it. Yeah, she dug in my behind today. I'm going to have to bring the drum up some more time. Pause! Wow. Pause! Pause! My man! Hey, hey, hey. 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 I apologize for that one. That was, that was dumb. <laughs> no, that was spectacular. <laughs> Every once in a while, we need one of those. Damn, that was dumb of me. All right. So, me, me and the wife was arguing, and she was she was winning the argument. Wow. That's How was she winning the argument, yeah. sir? Do uh, tell. Were you on your back when you were arguing? <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah. Everybody knows. <laughs> and for the new people listening, um... Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, me, me and the wife are both alphas, and we're both strong-willed and strong-minded, and we both believe we're right all the damn time. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> so yeah, finding yourself in another is—it could be rough. Yeah, it could be rough. But I mean, both of us agree because we've had to talk before, and if we got with somebody lesser, uh, with lesser will. We literally run all over. 
we would run completely yeah. all over. And I, I was you, you doing that at like that week, mm-hmm. in a way. I, like emotional. No, nah, I don't. I don't look at them like they're weak. It's just my will is stronger. So because my will's stronger, and I believe my way's right whenever I'm saying my way until proven wrong. Right. If you're not strong enough to combat me, oh, then my way's gonna be right all the time. I see. Like I'm not even gonna think. Well, maybe I'm like, nah, I'm right. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Like, I'm, what else I'm, like, I'm Keen Bear. I'm right. Of exactly. Course. I mean, yeah. what's the problem? So, um, in that case, it, it suits us, but it can be, as you guys have all known, it, it can be uncomfortable for anybody witnessing it because we don't hold punches, especially I don't. Like, she's a little bit better, a little bit more reserved, but not really. And you see it in her face. I don't give a shit. Like, yeah. I will, the, whatever level you bring it to me, I'm bringing that level back. Mm. So, if we happen to have a house full of people, and I might point out something, I'm like, hey, man, why'd you do that? And then, like, and she comes back, why you even bring this up to me? You know I don't do this. <laughs> Hey man! Exhibit A! Exhibit A! Yeah, he was sitting back with the popcorn like. Me and Clip, we like. Good. Oh, you gotta listen to this shit. Here go. He's like, yo, I got yeah. five dollars. Yeah. Uh, I got five dollars on King Bear. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's, it's crazy, because I mean, and I always give that warning. That's the first thing I'm on my. Hey man! And from there, I just, I'm. It's you know, over. You gotta say, you sure you wanna do this? That's how I do. Mm. Oh, you, you wanna do this right now? What are we doing? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want her to back down though. <laughs> like at that point, I'm like, like, no, it's not, it's not not like if I'm warning, that's like, hey, you know no, what? I don't it's think coming. It's, no, I'm like, it's here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, <laughs> get <it>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, baby. It's, <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like a friendly duel. Well, no time when you throw the line in the sand like, okay. Uh, oh, you want to most walk up with the yeah. glove and be like, I challenge you. <laughs> No. Oh, fuck that, baby. So you gotta, oh, why you had to go there for? <laughs> you did hear me I, say. I, like, yeah. But she the same way. I mean, we go ham sandwich the second that something goes off. Like, sometimes I'm the one in public, like, kind of doing what you say. Like, she'll start getting loud in public, like, hey, you raising your voice. Right. <laughs> and that's the only warning you get. Right. Like, like, you bring it like back saying, up. like, you sure? You want to yeah. do this? It's, it's yeah. kind of like that. Yeah, that's what it's but like. that's, and that's only because, um, the wife has a problem with being embarrassed. Oh, like, yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do that. But she, what do you think, no. men get, care about that type of shit? No, y'all don't, but don't do it because once you turn up like that, you don't know what the other person is going to do. I don't argue. Like, I, I do not like to argue. You put hands on the like, window. I'm not putting I down. must go no, windows no. out your car. <laughs> <laughs> It's always the quiet ones. No, like, I don't like to argue. I'm like, oh, that motherfucker. She'll put the banana in the tail. But I just think that's, don't embarrass me. Don't be, I walk out. I will, I'll walk. If you start yelling and going off and stuff, I promise you, I will shut just down. Just walk off. Huh? When I shut down, that's when, yeah, I'm going to leave. Because I'm, I might as well just I'm leave. embarrassed. Yo, yo, wow. sleep. Leave for What's good up? or just out of that situation? Go, Since... I'm going to just get in my on. car and go. I but would you be done with the situation? Like, mm. with the person, not the situation. She just no, about it. It, was just, okay. it was just how you come at me. Right. Now, you can come back and be like, you know, I'm sorry, or whatever, like that, then we can talk about you still bringing that same energy? Mm-hmm. Yo, I can't sleep. Do it. I, I just, What's up? Since you're related to Bear, are you the same way? No. Mm-mm. Total opposite? Mm-mm. Po- polar opposite. Like, he's nine, I'm, or he's 12, I'm six. I'm complete opposite. Mm. Okay. Wow. Yeah, he, he likes to to quell the situation and until later on and walk off. Well, yeah, I'll I'll walk off, but mm-hmm. just like just like anybody else, I I, I have a limit. Yeah. And I think it when, once I hit my limit, then I'm worse. I'm worse. Than mm-hmm. Yeah. But it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to get me there. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rightfully so. Yeah, I know. I don't got cussed out for stuff. I didn't even do with this much. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll let I'll let you cook. I'll, do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you cook, but hey, once once the meal is done, I'm like, all right, enough. It's go time. And I don't have back down either. So <laughs> I love my brother. I really do. But we've definitely had times where 
we have gone months, what? close to years, years, and not spoken to each other. Oh, man. I'm in the Over moment. a situation. Yeah. Just being pig-headed kind of thing? My mother, yeah. my mother to come in and fix it. I don't know. I have four sisters, and I think the only, I was mad at one for maybe six months. But that's the longest I've ever been. We are really close. We don't, if we have a problem, we sit down and talk about it. We get everybody no, together, that. and we sit down and talk right. about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> what, three years or something, my brother? Really? Fuck that. Uh, no, you, need, you, you need to know that I'm fucking mad. No. We don't, but <laughs> be slamming like doors. That. Hey, so you know, I'm, about, I'm about to put a, a tiny situation out there, man. Uh-oh. Have at it. All right. Uh-oh. I'm just letting them know. That, yeah, it was one time um, uh, I got a call from my brother, like, March 18th-ish. And, uh, one year? No. Uh, th- no. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it was a couple days after. No, it was the day after. Okay, it was the day after. Okay. So what I'm talking about is um, it was my niece's birthday. Okay. And my, my brother's daughter. Mm. And I am notoriously horrible with birthdays. Mm. I literally have about five birthdays in my head. And everybody else, yo, I, I need the Facebook <laughs> notification like everybody right. else. Yeah. Like, I mix up my old child's birthday. Wow. Like, if it wasn't for his birthday, Marine Corps birthday, and Veterans Day, I'm always lost. Like, every year I'm asking the wife, like, wait a minute, is this birthday the 9th or the 10th? I mean, what the hell? No, Marine Corps birthday's the temp. And that's how I sorted out. Um, but I got my mother's birthday, my dad's birthday, my brother's birthday, and mine. Why and then my, like Google my calendar, man? No, I do have that now. Okay, yeah. okay. But the time that we're talking about, Google wasn't Google yet. Okay, okay. And, you know, and my little brother called me. Angry? <laughs> he was already on a 12. The yeah. Goes goes hey, on 12. The, the, clock, the clock reversed. He was on 6 and I was on 12. Yeah. <laughs> wow. like, I picked up the phone and was like, yo, <laughs> motherfucker. What? <laughs> Just like that? Wow. Just like that. I was like, yo, what's going on? Yo, fuck you for all these. <laughs> how dare you? Came in you, like didn't Pac. Call, you didn't say nothing to my child. I'm like, he came in like Pac, baby. I was like, the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Because honestly and innocently, I I, I didn't know her birthday yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I knew yeah. the general time period, but you know, and that was just that was on me. Yeah. On that part. Mm. But he went left on me, and he was hot. He was, hot. He was a little sensitive. <laughs> and instead of me being like, you know, you know what? I apologize. Nah, I'm sitting there like, nigga, who the fuck keeping track of your kid's birthday? <laughs> <laughs> He went even higher. Yeah. <laughs> he, he said 25. Oh, <laughs> and I think, you know what? That might have been, that might have been right before 2017. If I'm remembering, no, it, it was way before that. Well, it was way before that. It was. It oh was yeah, yeah, you're right. It was a different situation because I was thinking because I had. 2017 told him, was a different situation. <laughs> yeah, and I just remember that was 2017 was the reason why he wasn't at the wedding. That was a whole oh, other situation. That was a whole other situation. That was another situation. Wow. I was wondering if hey, I didn't want to say nothing. So, so <laughs> my brother being in, in barely fashion likes to leave out the nuggets that really, it, it, re- it really explains the situation. So, Long yeah, story short, you, let's go. He texted me <laughs> on my daughter's birthday some bullshit. Yeah. So, I yeah. spoke to you on that day. He, he, there was an earthquake in like Bakersfield, and this nigga texted me on my daughter's birthday. Y'all shaking out there now, huh? Nigga, that's what you want to come with? <laughs> I, yeah, I kind of do remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 at that time, I had no well, idea. But sleep, you could have been my That was the, I'm like, yeah, we good. We just still celebrating so so's birthday. Yo, he went left on me. But no, I respond. I was like, yeah, no, that was that was up north. We good. And I didn't say I didn't say nothing else. I just I, I was like, OK, any any minute, any hour, he's going to say, oh, shit, it's Jasmine's birthday. Yeah, yeah. Got to got got to, you know, got to get that in. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't say nothing else. But the next day I called him. And he was like, yo, yeah. I was like, no, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I tell you what. Yeah. Hold your pearls. March 16th said, hey, now, though, dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> that shit's in there now. So, means to an end. <laughs> means to an end. But yeah, I didn't talk to, I don't think we talked for like eight months. Wow. Yeah, we, we went that. some time. We went some time on that one. Yeah, that one was an eight-monther. Wow. But we've had ones that have gone longer than that. And, you know, then my brother called me and be like, yo, I just lost a friend, and I'm realizing life's too short for that. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, and I can see you be like, yeah, the Giants are not winning. <laughs> Hey, no, this is when the Giants, the Giants were pretty good then. Yeah, I think they were on their way. I think they still had Eli going for something. Um, but, yeah, but that's – I'm, I'm very confrontational. And for the most part, uh, sleep isn't. But if you if you trigger sleep emotionally, yeah, he could definitely get worse. Than, like, he definitely gets bipolar with his because yeah. he'll have extreme highs and then just not even care type of lows. Yeah, no, Whereas I'm, I'm just I'm, sitting on edge all the time waiting. Yeah. Like, who, who, it's like a timer who's, bomb. Who's going to get it today? Because <laughs> I'm ready for it today. I woke up ready. <laughs> yeah. I woke up ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got to get ready to get uh, <clears throat> comedian CJ Trowers up out of here for this episode this week. He's leaving us for a show because we're not good enough to stay with him. So we didn't get no private. We didn't get no free tickets. Nothing. We just found nothing. out that he's going to We didn't to even get an right invite. Nothing, no bro. invite. A, nothing. A link. It's so open mic. So you could have so yo, come you on. You could have said, come Did out for me or something. Shoot, watch me shooting in the gym by myself. Dude, we could have made arrangements. Yeah. We could have bought the whole studio out there and we just. Suppo- I would have you know supported you. We could have supported show you before, spot. haven't I? And then talk shit about it after. Because this shit is whack. This shit is whack. I keep it 100. <laughs> but this was wow. years ago. You've grown since then. You know what I mean? Well, you've grown. That shit is whack. So, Lake Antonio said you should just be a rapper. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> like aluminum foil. <laughs> 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 Not even the world. You should just come and see. Pineapple! Pineapple! Don't get your shit like Pac Man's about to talk shit to me right now. Okay? Hey. Calm the fuck down, yeah. Jake and the Fat Man. Yeah. Hey. It's okay. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 I'm a sick of him. Oh man, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's hot in here. This has yeah, been the people's <laughs> cast, <laughs> and it's for the people. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. Heavy duty cutie. <laughs> Big sleep from the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> and we gonna see y'all on the next one. <laughs> All bad. Peace. <laughs>